everybody, this is Charles Pichak from Audio Ape. I wanted to show you a little trick I learned about getting your music that you're not sure when it's going to end and have just a nice, clean finish. So we have a track, a uh, volunteer track, where it brings somebody up on stage. I never know quite when it's going to land. It takes how long, you know, find somebody, how to get them on stage. It's all varying times, but I want to have a nice, clean finish. Typically, what you have to do is you have to loop a section and then once it hits this loop section, you can exit out of it. But I wanted all these other exit points. These are called slices. And I want to be able to end the music cleanly at any of these points. And if I miss them, then it can land in this infinite loop and I can still exit out of here cleanly. Uh, so the way I did that is basically I wrote the track and I erased the ending. I moved the, the marker here so it stops playing the track. And then I recreated the ending down here. And I used just the ending part right here. And so what I want to do is I want to play this track and then anytime it, I want to end cleanly, it'll just, as it plays through these points, if I hit if I hit it during any of these times, it'll basically exit on the line. And like I said, if it makes it to the end, it'll just live in here until it exits out. So the way you build that is by making the markers. I just made them on the beat. You can just play the track using the little play button here, then hit the M button. So you make a little markers and then basically it'll exit on any of those markers. The slices is what they're called technically. Um, so let's go ahead and see how this works. So I'm going to go ahead. Uh, also uh, on the devamp, the settings need to be uh, devamp currently looping slice and you need to check mark both these. So basically it starts the next cue automatically, which is the ending of the track. I want that to play and it's in this group, so it will play. Uh, and then I want to stop the target, which is the playing track up here. I want this to stop. So as long as you set all those parameters correct, then you should be okay. I also added another thing, another cue in this group that they all fire at the same time. And I, I had the playhead moved to here because the playhead wasn't moving to here. So I just told it to get to there. So that's what that's all about. So let's see how this works. So I'll go ahead and put uh, passing volunteer. Now the intro is happening. I could go anytime. Take a look at the track. Let's wait till we get into these sections right here. Cool. And let's go ahead and devamp it. Great. So basically, anytime during the, the track, I can get a nice clean ending, and it goes right to my next cue right here, which would be rings. Uh, so that's just a nice way to exit uh, a track that you're not sure of the length and get a nice clean finish, a nice beginning, and a nice clean finish. All right, hope this was helpful. This is Charles Peachock from Audio Ape. We'll see you at showtime.